In this video, I'm going to give you the guide to unlock Accelerator really fast. You can unlock this in a few hours, honestly, as long as you lock in. So as you can see, I have Mama Mentality and Accelerator. I unlocked it last night, um, just got it out the way, and I'm going to tell you the easiest way to get this. I'm talking about the 40 steals you have to get, the 40 blocks you have to get, how to defend the fast breaks and all that stuff, because it becomes kind of tedious and it's really frustrating. But if you watch this video, you'll be able to knock this out really quick. So let's go ahead and get into it. So to unlock Accelerator, you have to unlock every other takeover perk. And each takeover perk has a set of challenges that you have to do. So let's look over these challenges. I'm not going to lie. If they're super straightforward, I'm not going to talk about it too much. So for example, Minimizer. Head to the Art of Shooting facility and earn three stars. Really easy to do, really straightforward. So we don't have to talk about that one as much. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and get into Decelerator. Head to Brickley's Gym, complete 3v3 scrimmage, complete 5v5 scrimmage. So let me go ahead and tell you the suit for this because you might have to do it anyway. So we really got lucky on 2K's release. It turns out that the 3v3 scrimmage is Monday through Thursday and the 5v5 is Friday through Sunday. So you have to catch these at the right time. Not only that, but your Chris Brickley may be glitched. Some people are reporting that their workouts aren't available. And so if that happens, all you have to do is create a new player, go to a My Career game, shoot five shots, you don't have to make them, foul out, and then another Chris Brickley would be available on another build. And since it all transfers, you should be good. Not only that, but on that new build, you don't have to upgrade anything. It'll be a 60 overall, but I recommend making a 7-3 behemoth with block and steal all the way up and rebirthing that build. That'll set you up nice for what you need later. So Decelerator is another easy badge you can pick up once you reset the My Career mode. So after that, we have Sponge. On this, you have to recruit three street ball bosses to your team. This is really simple to do also, so we're not going to talk about it too much. But once you go to Sunset Park, just win three of those challenges and you'll be able to unlock Sponge. It should be one of the first takeover perks that you earn. Next up, we have Stay Warm. So most of these challenges will give you an option. You can either complete them at a street ball court or at the park. I recommend doing it at the street ball court simply because you can farm that way, but you can find some people that don't know what they're doing at the park also. So it's really up to you. What I did was I went to the street ball court and since my build has a pretty high standing layup, I just stood in the paint and greened those standing layup shots six times a game. You would have to do this 10 times. But if you don't have a slasher build, you have a shooter, you can call for pick and roll and shoot that three. They leave you wide open because they go under the screen every time. Or you can farm the corner threes. Just get out on a fast break, run to the corner. Um, so that one's pretty simple also. Next up, you have juice and extender. In order to get these, you have to complete some of the bad challenges. So I know a few people are like, yo, I don't have juice, I don't have extender. You need to get some of the other bash perks first before you unlock extender and juice. For extender, all you have to do is get 75 assists. In order to do that, just run pick and roll, pass it to the slipper, and you will get 75 assists really easy. In order to get juice, you have to win 20 games at any street ball court or any park court. Once again, I recommend doing this all at Sunset Park because they're easy to do. They're easy wins. Just pick the team that has the lowest overall, play against them, get your wins out of the way. So let's go ahead and get into the tough badges to get. First up, we have Saboteur. And <laughs> for Saboteur, you have to get 40 steals either at a street ball court or at a park court. Then you have to get 40 blocks at a street ball court or a park court. I know you're looking at this like, bruh, how do I do it? I got y'all nice and easy. So remember when I told you, you should probably make a 60 overall build, 7-3 behemoth with steel and block? This challenge is why. I'm gonna make it real simple for you, all right? So for the 40 steals, to knock this out fast, you wanna go to Sunset Park and play against Rot and Rodney, all right? Once again, this is for people that made that 7-3 behemoth. So let me tell you why you wanna play against Rot and Rodney. All they're going to do is try to throw oops to him. As long as you get in the way and press square to intercept that oop, you will get a steal. This is way better than using a build with high steal and relying on getting an animation. You know what I mean? If you just stand there with a 60 overall with high steal, 
you're going to get so many steals per game you'll be able to get 40 steals real fast so i know 40 steals looks intimidating it's because you're thinking of getting that animation 40 times or plucking somebody 40 times you don't have to do that play against rodney and you'll be able to knock this out quick i mean you see in this game we have nine steals yeah i'm one for 17 but i was just trying to make sure to get back on a fast break you trying to look good or get these steals exactly for the 40 blocks once again sunset park you want to play against disco if you still had that 7 3 60 overall with a little bit of block all these people in this challenge are six foot and under all right so you'll be able to block them so easy they try to drive to the paint so much just block them 40 times and you're done with this bash perk like i said it looks intimidating but you can knock it out easy if you play rodney and disco over and over again so next up we have suppressor and suppressor was honestly hell so the 50 shots well defended you're going to get that regardless whether you play uh the street ball courts or online once again it's up to you i always recommend sunset park but the fast breaks well defended that almost broke me it really did even with this method i'm about to show you so once again i'm gonna just reuse the same clips you want to play rot and rodney again and just throw up some nonsense that's why i was one for 17. you just want to throw up some nonsense get back and once again they'll try to throw the oop and you just have to disrupt it on the fast break that's what a well defended fast break is i feel like you know what i mean i feel like if you get a block or a steal on the fast break it's going to count just getting back on the fast break and marking a body and stopping them from scoring isn't good enough i think you have to get a block or steal in order for it to count so throw up some nonsense against rot and rodney kind of let him run straight to the paint and intercept some of those hoops that's the best advice i can give you for stopping those fast breaks after you do that you're gucci man most of these are really simple to get so i really didn't talk about them much but when it comes to getting those steals blocks and defending the fast break it can be pretty tough so i wanted to talk about that the most so there you have it that's how you unlock accelerator in about three to five hours it gets really simple when it comes to mama mentality you have to unlock that to get accelerator anyway so you will get that on the way you feel me so i hope this video was able to help you all out i can't wait to test accelerator out to see how it is because on 2k23 i ended up using extender more to be real but accelerator might be the move especially with mama mentality so i hope this video was able to help you all out a little bit if it was be sure to drop a like and subscribe you all be easy peace